Thank you, thank you. I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. I'm not as dumb as I look. Hopefully it's right, but thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to the party. Today, we're cutting more tubes. So the first thing I wanna do is there's a front end assembly, basically where the nose cone, the suspension, and the radiator, all that stuff kinda of live. And it goes right in the front. It's angled back a little bit. It's kind of a goofy shape. We got four tubes. They got a bunch of weird angles. The, the two side angles are compound, so there's, there's one cut this direction, move the tube and cut it a different angle. Uh, you can see because it's it, it goes out and it also goes back. So I'm gonna attempt to do that today. Uh, I'm gonna try and bring some tubes over to JT's bandsaw, try to get a better, more accurate cut for this thing. And then I'm also gonna build a little jig real quick. That's the front in there. Yeah, see, it's angled back and out. So it's kind of a challenging thing. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a jig. Let's let's make a jig. All right, this jig will look something like this. This is roughly three inches. It's real close to three inches. I think it'd be sufficient. I have to go cut these tubes. So let's go head over to GTO Power. Let me get the truck ready. If I can carry all this stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, let me get my safety glasses. You can never be too safe. All right, I'll meet you over there. All set up. Okay. All these angles protractors and angle finders all this crazy stuff I'll get it eventually so yeah I set the uh, the bandsaw to 50 degrees it was not right basically I had to set it on 40 degrees so that's uh, this angle is 130 which is the opposite of 50 minus 9 or minus 90 degrees is 40 it's freaking so yeah a little confusing but I think I'll get it so I got the one cut done, 50 degrees, I'm about to do this other one. To figure it out, I ended up just drawing my line on here with this angle finder and then lining up the blade, you know, looking down on it. <laughs> and then I, that's how I figured it out. This math, angles are difficult, huh? Life is hard. It's even harder when you're stupid. All right, the easier of the angle tubes on this one is done. It only took me 20 minutes. So 50 degrees over there, 50 degrees over there. And I'm exactly 24 and a half. Boom. 49.9 degrees. Oop, now it's 50. That's basically 50 degrees. All right. Now for the hard ones. The compound angle. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't math that hard, I'm sorry. I all right, in order to get the angle I need, see right there it says it's on 13, uh, it's 13.7, so it's in between 13 and 14 degrees, slightly more towards 14, and it lines up with my mark real well. But I figured out the uh, equation to get these cuts just right. Um, you take 180, you subtract 76.3, which gives me 103, and I take that from take 90 from that, and I get 13.7. So I can get my 76.3, and then I mark mark the two, and then I go and put 
13.7 on that and it lines up with my mark just right same thing with that first one to get my 50 degrees 180 minus 50 is 130 minus 90 is 40 so on there is 40 degrees in order to give me a 50 degree cut here i figured it out thank you thank you i'm not as dumb as i thought i was i'm not as dumb as i look hopefully it's right but thank you okay i'm all done my tubes are cut compound angles and all i didn't really get much filming because i've been here way too long doing this for too long but basically what happened was you set your blade at an angle whatever angle whatever angle this is right and then you either drop it down or lift it up and you stick your angle finder on your tube and then you raise it up son of a biscuit And you raise it up in this case it was just about 15 degrees that way and then that way for the other side and that's how that's how i did the compound cut that was uh thanks to jt I said hey just do it like this it's way easier so i did and it was it still took a long time though yeah because if you look here the lean back it tells you this 15.3 degree lean back so when you're cutting it let's say this this is your this is your base of your bandsaw you lift it up in the vise the jaw of the, van, the bandsaw 15.3 degrees so yeah now I'm gonna go either make a jig or stack Stack three on top of each other, so it's three three inches. And then actually something like this. And I might tack that together today because I don't need a I don't need a nice flat surface to do that. Alright, back in my shop. I got a little jig set up. It's kind of screwed together a little bit, kind of not. Um, I'm just gonna kind of hold it where I think it should go and give it some tacks and and we'll see how it works out but got my angles pretty good it's three inches up not bad let's give it a shot are you as excited as i am probably not i'm probably just mildly interested oh this looks like a cool build i think i'll watch Perfect, but it's pretty close. Hey, you gotta ground it. Here's a little tip when you're welding, you gotta ground your metal. inches here that's like perfect yay that's the front of a load of seven <laughs> 